300 meters above the Santa Barbara Channel. And we got an animal, I think, off to our left. We're on the lookout for the telltale spray of a whale spout. We definitely have a big blow below us. One humpback, two humpback. But this monthly flight over the Channel Islands Marine Sanctuary isn't just about spotting whales. Uh, that's actually one of the smaller container ships. Sean Hastings is searching for something else, something that makes the bus-sized mammals below us look like goldfish. We have the confluence of ships coming in from Asia and unfortunately right through the feeding grounds of these blue fin and humpback whales. Along the west coast this year, whales have been dying in unusually high numbers. At least four were hit by ships. One solution, getting ships to slow down. When you reduce the speed of a ship down to 10 knots, you reduce the likelihood of a fatal strike by 50%. But just asking the companies to get their ships to go slower hasn't worked. So now federal officials on the California coast are actually paying them. <laughs> companies get a small stipend based on the distance their fleets travel at 10 knots or slower. Six years ago, only 17% of ships were slowing down. Now it's up to 45%. There is an OOCL Canada ship underway at 9.7 knots, which is good to see. Now, Canadian maritime authorities are watching closely to see if something similar might work on northern coasts. And it's only limited by budget right now in terms of the number of ships we can incentivize to slow down. Providing incentives to all ships in the protected waters would cost about $2 million a year, but with a budget only a tenth that size, they can only reach a sliver of the thousands of container ships that pass through these waters. The ship below us, for instance, is traveling almost twice the recommended speed. If a whale is hit, it's pretty guaranteed it will be killed uh, by that speed. By increasing awareness, authorities had hoped to eventually wean companies off the payments. But they admit it's still a challenge to get ships to slow down on maritime highways with no speed limits. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Oxnard, California. Now, in the Atlantic, it has been another devastating year for right whales. At least eight North Atlantic right whales have been found dead. Others have been spotted tangled in fishing gear. So to save the estimated 400 right whales left, Earlier this month, Transport Canada tightened rules, expanding protected zones where ships need to slow down and increasing aerial surveillance and rescue efforts. 